This morning on The Dish, Chef Todd English. He is a four-time James Beard Award winner and host of the Emmy-nominated PBS travel series Food Trip with Todd English. He's here to talk about his one dish. It is the ultimate comfort food, lasagna with a twist. Mm. Todd, it's great to see you. Good morning. Thanks for coming great to meet with Pleasure, you. yes, amazing. Tell us amazing, about yes. the, Tell us about these well, ultimate dishes. <clears throat> well, this is a, a dish that I, I, I guess I've been doing this for about 25 years or so, uh -huh. and... Um, I just got the inspiration. Uh, fall, obviously, mm. pumpkin harvest, and it's a pumpkin lasagna with uh, a little bit of white truffle puree, mascarpone, and uh, and a little uh, shaved nutmeg, and of course, the most ultimate white thing truffle. we have to put over the top. Oh, you haven't this, put it on I, yet. I haven't put it on. Oh my yeah. gosh! You got to right. bring that plate over. And here. this is the yeah. last white truffle <laughs> in New York City. Uh, apparently, my yes, I was talking to my purveyor, and she said that, that this is it. This is the last one, and they're going for about. Three thousand dollars a pound. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so. Three thousand dollars every day. So good. <laughs> this isn't your so. father's chef in a shoestring. Yeah. Right? <laughs> no, this is not. No, this is yes, the, the the predecessor. But wow. but these are all, all recipes from my new book, Cooking mm -hmm. in Everyday English. Yeah. No yeah. pun intended. <laughs> and uh, really, it's about you know getting back in the kitchen, to, you know staying, you mm. know fearless cooking. I want everybody to be back in there, hanging out. Ten ingredients or less. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like this is an example. This is the old school cacciatore. This is a dish that was resurrected. I mean, that I brought back because it was before tomatoes arrived in Italy. So mm -hmm. cacciatore, mm. meaning hunter style, and make it with chicken and mushrooms and and balsamic vinegar and uh -huh. red wine, and is slow cooked for about two hours and served with a semolina polenta. Which is absolutely it is delicious, delicious. It fantastic. and it really is wonderful. You know, the, the tomatoes didn't show up yeah. in, in Italy until the 17th century. So this is a dish that was classically made. We have, What's this one here? This one I love. This is again vegetarian, uh, very simple. It's made with 100% beet juice, risotto with beet juice, mm. uh, cabrales cheese, which is a Spanish blue cheese, and roasted beets. Uh, again, you don't even have to roast the beets, but when you start juicing, I do it with carrots as well. You can mm. buy carrot juice now. Really incredible. So instead of using stocks. Use fresh vegetable juices, absolutely incredible. Really wonderful. Fennel and orange mm. salad, very mm. simple. Shave, shave the, the fennel, I love that, I Yum. love fennel. You know, my Italian heritage, we ate fennel all the time right. growing up, so. If you could share these meals with yeah. anyone, yeah. anyone in the world, who would it be? <laughs> you know, I, I always say that I love to meet, um, that one of the, the great American pioneers that brought food to the United States was Thomas Jefferson. Huh. Be an interesting mm -hmm. guy to, to meet because he brought olive olive trees and a lot of wine. Mm -hmm. vineyards, so, so he would bring that part of the meal. You would yeah, bring this part. I would bring this part. But yeah. you have your um, yeah. this is a, this FIG. Is right. Well, we have uh, you know cocktails are very in fashion now. Right. And so we did a whole cocktail section, and uh, this is the notorious FIG. The notorious. I FIG. love figs, <laughs> olives. Right. It's like part of my Mediterranean cooking, and, okay. and so this is rum, rum. Brulee, uh blonde. A little bit of fig puree, mm. oh my and uh, it's yes. delicious and wonderful. It has rosemary in it as well. Yes. Oh, I love that. Yes, definitely. And I love it, the it is notorious. So all you have to do is drink it, and you realize why it's notorious. <laughs> <laughs> or you'll just forget the name, and everything <laughs> yeah, exactly. will be okay anyway. I want to ask you about this dish. Oh, I love that. So I, you know, I, <clears throat> part of my life I grew up in the oh, yeah. South. So one of my uh, one of my fond memories is cornbread. This is a spoon bread actually with a maple and butter. Uh, glaze over the top. You, I, I got. You got to try that. That is delicious. Delicious. Really good. That's in the cookbook. Again, all these are really simple. Thirty minutes or less. Ten ingredients, and you're ready to you got go. Got some work for. We you. have a dish for you now. Oh, this yes. is the dish that you signed. All right. I love <laughs> it. To commemorate our segment, the dish. <laughs>